Welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in. I am a natural cause and this is another tutorial video. Today we'll be covering Factorio. We're going to be setting up a multiplayer server using Linux. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is head over to factorio.com and make sure that you sign in and you want to click on headless to download the headless server and the latest version is 15.34 so let's go ahead and click on the link here to download and as you can see it'll download here to your personal computer or you can right click on this icon and choose copy and if you head over to the server there's a little command that you can type in that will allow you to grab it it's called wget so we're going to do wget dash capital O and then we're going to give it a name so factorio.tar.xz and then we're going to go ahead and paste the link that we copied and then we're just going to go ahead and click enter on the keyboard and it will actually go out and download it for you now if you take in uh, take a look and see that we have the factorio.tar.xz in here we're going to use the command unxz and we are going to extract that into a tar file. Now we can use tar to extract the file. So we're just going to write tar-x-f or you can put them together factorio.tar and you will now see that it created a factorio server or excuse me folder. <laughs> so let's remove the factorio.tar because we don't need that anymore. And let's go ahead and change it to the Factorio directory. And you can see here, it just has a couple of items. So the first thing that we want to do is create a saves folder. And we also want to create a mods folder in case you want to use mods later on as well. All right, now that we have those two folders created, what we can do is we're going to go into the data folder. And in the data folder, you can see here it has a bunch of different files like map generation settings and map settings and server settings. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and copy one of these files into its own file. So we're going to first we're going to copy the map gen settings, the example file, and we're going to create the same file but we're going to get rid of the word example. All right. And then what we can do is we can edit this file and you this is the file that's going to contain information in regards to your terrain uh, water coal copper oil iron and basically the size of the the patches the richness of the patches just like if you were going to start a, a regular factorio game on your local machine you can edit the map settings so this is where you're going to edit the map settings um, inside the server so we can actually change the sizes here to very high for instance uh, that's for coal and then we can do the richness as very high as well and then if we want to change the other settings we can do that also but for this tutorial we're just going to go ahead and leave all the rest of them the way they are but we can edit that later on so we're going to go ahead and quit this um, quit editing right and then the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy the map settings so in the map settings we're just gonna go ahead and remove the word example and then we're gonna go ahead and edit this file as well okay in this one here, as you can see, this is where you can edit things like pollution, whether or not your enemies are going to evolve, your enemy expansion, things like that. So this is another file that you want to go ahead and edit and make sure that you're choosing the right information for the server that you want to play. So if you don't want pollution and you want a friendly server, you can disable the pollution so it doesn't affect the biters. You can, um, whether or not the biters are going to be um, I'm sorry, whether or not the biters are going to evolve or whether or not they're going to expand. 
Um, so what you'll want to do is just go through this whole file here and make sure that you edit any properties that you want for your map settings as well. You also have steering in here for your car, for your tanks. Alright, so let's go ahead and quit out this one as well. Okay, and so the next one that we're going to do is we're going to do the server settings. So we're going to copy the serving settings example, and we're going to go ahead and copy that into another file called server settings without the word example. And then we're going to go ahead and edit that file as well. Now once we edit this file, as you can see in here, this is going to give you the name of your server, a description of your server, and any tags that you might want to add. So let's go ahead and edit this uh, name of this description here. Let's back out here, delete all this. And let's just go ahead and name it a natural cause. Uh, let's name it uh, the community server. Okay. Then we'll give it a description. So we'll go ahead and back out of this here. Delete, delete, delete. Perfect. And we'll just uh, say that this is going to be fun and exciting for all. Fun and exciting gameplay. There you go. Uh, for the max players, you can leave it at zero, which means unlimited amount of players. Um, we have the visibility, whether or not it's going to be a public server or a local LAN server. If I change this to false, then people who I live with or people on my own LAN can't play. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that true. And we can go ahead and put in a username. Now this is uh, your username for Factorio.com. So if you don't already have a Factorio.com login, make sure that you create one. So you want to put in your username and then you'll want to put in your password as well. This is for required for games that are going to be publicly visible to the public. If you don't want them publicly visible, you don't have to fill in this information. Um, you can also give your game a password so that other people can't play it. So we can just put some random password here. You shall not pass. How about that? <laughs> okay. So. Other than that, um, you can just read the rest of the items that are in this file and adjust them if needed. If you don't need to adjust them, then you're good. All right. Okay, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go save that file. Let's just reset this real quick. We're then gonna move our factorial folder into the slash OPT folder. So we can do new factorio into opt factorio okay and then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and change into the directory and as you can see factorio is here so let's change into the factorio directory and now that you see all of our items are listed in here first let's create a saves file so what we want to do is type dash dash create and it's going to be saved in the saves folder and then you want to give it a name and then .zip. So in this case, let's just say ANC server .zip, and then we just click enter. And then what that will do is that'll go out and, and save it. But before we do that, let's add our map settings. So we do dash dash map dash gen dash settings. And we want to give the location of where that file is. And in this case, it's in the data folder. So we do data slash map gen settings dot JSON. We also want to do our other map settings as well. So we want to do dash dash map dash settings and dot, uh, give it the location. So data slash map dash settings dot JSON. Now from here, what we can do is from here, we click enter and we can see that it's created a save file for us called ANC server.zip. So if we actually went into the saves folder right now, we can actually see that it created that file for us. And that's very important. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and start a screen session. And I think we already are in one. Yes, we are. If you were not in one, you would type screen and hit enter. Now let's go ahead and start up the Factorio server itself. So from the Factorio directory, we type a P 
period slash bin slash x64 slash factorio dash dash start server date no it's not hang on a second no we want to go ahead and add our saves file so it's going to be in um, saves saves slash and then the name of our file dot zip perfect and then we're going to go ahead and use our server settings that we set up earlier as well so we do dash dash server settings and remember we're going to want to give it the location of where those settings are located so in this case they're in the data folder and their server dash settings dot json from here we can click enter and that should start the server and it looks like we got an error so that's real easy we can actually just go into the data folder into server settings dot json and take a look at what that what's on that line there so let's go ahead and edit that file real quick and let's go to the very bottom line uh, let's see line 59 there we are okay so let's just take out the username here first and then let's go ahead and save the file and then let's try restarting the server again and that should work for us this time there it is perfect now that the server started you can press control a control D and that will actually allow you to get out of that session now let's go ahead and start up factorio now when you start a factorio you want to make sure that you don't have any mods enabled okay because the server doesn't have any mods and then what you want to do is then go ahead and click on play and then click on multiplayer and then connect to server and in this case just use the IP address of the server and then go ahead and click connect and that's going to go ahead and download the map and if you have a password for the server make sure that you put your password in because it will ask you for the password so let's go ahead and type that password in and then click connect and there you go and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys like it make sure that you guys go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like the video make sure you subscribe um, thanks for watching you guys have a great day